Hey there, Grant Luna with Fidelity National Title. And for today's Tech Tuesday, I'll be showing you how you can take your door knocking to the next level using Fidelity Total Farms phone app and Fidelity Agent One's calculators. So these are two really great apps from Fidelity, have a lot of deep functionality within them, but if you combine them and know how they work, they can make your conversations when you're out door knocking even more effective. So let's get into it. So let's start out with an example case. Maybe you have an open house this weekend and you want to door knock to the surrounding homes and have conversations with some of the homeowners around the open house, as well as some of the people renting in homes around that open house. And you want to invite them to the open house. But on top of that, you actually want to give them some engaging information and try to get them into your pipeline or your database. So let's say that I have an open house in San Pedro. So I'm going to first create a farm to actually get an awareness of the people that live around this property. And so I can either search an address to kind of locate me on the map, or I can just scroll into the map and zoom in like this. So now I'm in San Pedro. And let's say that my open house is in this Vista del Oro neighborhood. Maybe it's on 15th and Patton right here. So maybe I can aim for around 350 properties or so. Maybe I'll door knock you know, the week leading up. And that's kind of my goal of potential homes that I can actually get in contact with. So what I can do is start drawing a polygon map similar to how I would do that using the MLS. And maybe I'll create a boundary at 17th Street. I'll go down to Leland Street here, click again, come across, and then close up this map. So now it'll give me the number of properties. So there's 325 homes in this farm area. Uh, and maybe I just want that, right? So I don't want condos, I don't want townhouses, and I don't want other. So I'll unselect all of these. And then at the bottom left over here, it says continue. And I'll select continue. Now I just make sure single family residence is selected. Now I'll select get count, then send a farm manager and I'll say Vista del Oro open house farm. So I'll hit send and now that farm will be created for me. So now that this farm is loaded, Let's say Monday or Tuesday rolls around. I know I have this open house coming up this weekend and I want to start door knocking. So like I said, I want to have conversations with the homeowners, but also the renters around there. So a really great way to do that is actually to use Fidelity Total Farms companion phone app. And so what's great, it's the same exact account that you use to create the farm on the desktop version that you sign in with. And so you're looking at my phone here on the left side of the screen. And if I select my farms, I actually see that Vista del Oro open house farm that I just created. And if I select that farm, I actually see a geographic breakdown of that farm. So it's really easy for me to start door knocking with this app. And so let's say I start walking through and I want to start walking with 1135 West 13th Street. And it's actually organized in geographic order. So you can just simply walk through. I can click on this first property here. And now I have a bunch of basically features to make my door knocking not only easier, but more effective. So I can take notes down of those conversations that I have. I can also set the status after I've had that conversation. So let's say that I door knock and maybe they weren't home, right? I can select set status here and then I can scroll down and select not home, select yes. And now that house icon will change to red, essentially indicating to me that they weren't home. So maybe on Tuesday, right? I, I'm gonna door knock the next day. And now I just wanna connect with the people that weren't home the first time around. And so what I can actually do with this phone app, if you see at the top right of the phone screen where it says all status, I can click that drop down, select not home. And now I know which of the properties I didn't get to speak to last time. So it makes it a little bit more effective when I'm actually out and about door knocking. What's also really helpful is I see information such as the owner's names, when they bought the property, what they bought the property for, their assessed value, I can keep track. So instead of not home, I can also select lead, prospect, and put in information, and then put that later in the database that I'm using. But what I wanted to give you were a couple of ideas to make these conversations really effective. And I think a really great app to use in tandem with this Fidelity Total Farm app is Fidelity Agent One. And so I think there's two big examples of what you can do with this phone app and uh, in terms of Fidelity Total Farm and Fidelity Agent One. And that is basically generating accurate seller net sheets on the fly and also generating rent versus buy calculators for the people that are renting within that farm area. So let's say that I'm walking in this farm area and then I start door knocking here. 
Uh, and what I can do basically, even before I approach the door, is I can create a seller net sheet using Fidelity Agent One. So that's another phone app that we have. If you don't know how to use that or how to access that, there's a full playlist on my YouTube channel called All Things Real Estate with Fidelity Agent One. And so as I'm sitting there before approaching the door, what I can do maybe is have an awareness of the average sales price in that farm area. So I can come back here to Fidelity Total Farm. And what's nice about these farms is there's actually a stats tab up here at the top left of the screen. And it'll give me the average 12 months sales price in this farm area. So it's saying the last 12 months, the average house has sold for basically just over a million dollars. And so now I can use that to my advantage in creating some seller net sheets. So now I can have the phone app up here as I'm door knocking before I approach the door. Uh, now I go to Fidelity Agent 1. I put in a sales price. Let's just put in maybe the market softened a little bit. So I'll put in a million dollars for the average house sales price. I'll put in the broker fee, usually 2.5% both sides. And obviously to have an accurate net sheet, I'll need the loan balance and property tax information. So one way I could do that is basically bank on a conversation and ask them if they know their loan balance, but even better, using Fidelity Total Farm, the phone app, I can get their address. So it's 1135 West 13th Street. Now back on Fidelity Agent 1, where it says add address, I can click that and put in 1135 West 13th Street. And now it'll pull in the property tax information for this property. So it's saying the estimated annual property tax is $1,000. It found a loan on file from 2022 for $616,000. It also gives me the average interest rate at the time of 8.21%. So maybe I'll just put in 8%. And basically what this will do is it'll actually back calculate what that estimated loan balance is. So now I can select compute. It'll give me a net sheet now, basically if they sold a property for whatever the average is within that market area, within that farm I've created, and based on their loan amount, what they can net at close. And before, once again, I even approach the door, I can select the top right share button within the phone app, click send full report, and now it'll generate a report for me with that seller net sheet information on there. So as I'm approaching the door, I can prepare for that conversation. And now I have some really good information that I can share with them. And I can have the conversation, just tell them about the open house. And then also say, by the way, I actually generated a net sheet for you that actually shows you based on your loan amount, how much you can actually net it close. I can text that to you, or I can email that to you. And I can select the share button at the top right. I can select text. Basically have them put in their phone number. Now I have their phone number or their email. And now I can go back and put them into my database and they get something of value from me. So that's a really great way to use Fiddle Agent 1 for the seller side. And once again, I can go now to the next address by simply swiping right here. Now this is the next property in that geographic order. And I can do the same exact thing, just basically leave the average sales price the same, but instead now just change the loan balance. So now I can go down here to edit address, select edit address, and now put in 1143 West 13th Street. And now once again, it'll find the property taxes associated with that property as well as a loan balance. So I'll select next. It found a loan balance in 2020 for $32,000. I'll put in where it says the average interest rate was 3.1. So I'll just put in 3%, compute, use estimate. And now this is a net sheet personalized now to this homeowner. Once again, click send full report at the top right of the screen. And now I have the option once again to text or email that to that person. So it makes these conversations even more effective when you have something of value to give them. And so for the other part of the equation would be when you're door knocking properties that aren't owner occupied. And so I can actually see that within Fidelity Agent 1 is the color of the house icon. Sorry, I meant Fidelity Total Farm. So the house icon here is red on these four here, indicating that these properties are not owner occupied, which means they're likely rented out. And so obviously the seller net sheet's not gonna be as pertinent to these people, but what I can do instead is use a different calculator within Fidelity Agent 1. And so what I can do is go back to Fidelity Agent 1, go to calculators, and within calculators, there's a rent versus buy calculator up here at the top of the screen, so I can select that. And this calculator essentially shows somebody the benefits of buying versus renting a property over a given period of time. And so maybe beforehand, I can go to something like apartments.com, 
I can navigate to San Pedro and maybe I just want to have uh, property type just be a house here. And I can just zoom into this area here and see maybe what the average uh, properties are renting for here. So I see one that's pretty high, 7,500, but then I see a few that are in this 3,500, 3,800 range. So maybe I'll say 3,800 in terms of current rent now in the calculator. So I'll put in 3,800. And then once again, I knew the average uh, house price in here was around a million dollars. So I'll put in house price, 1 million. I can change the down payment assumption. So put 10%, but maybe I'll just leave it at 10% or sorry, 20% or I can make it 3.5%, but I'll leave it at 10% for now and I'll hit compute. And so now it'll show them when they'll actually break even. So when buying and renting breaks even, but also if I slide it to 10 years, now it shows the actual benefit of buying versus renting. The difference being around $100,000 benefit to buy a property versus to rent a property. Same thing once again, I can hit the share button at the top right and then send full result, uh, full report. And now I have this template created for me that shows the uh, difference between buying and renting over a 10 year period. I think this template can be a little bit complicated to read. So I can select templates at the bottom left and I can select this owning versus renting template here. It's going to give me that same information over a 10 year period. It'll say you'll save $95,000 buying versus renting a property. It'll show the difference between owning a property, you get the mortgage interest deduction, you get the appreciation, uh, the subtraction and the principal paid versus just constant appreciation, the rent uh, and the house that you're living at. So once again, before I'm even approaching this door, I can be door knocking. Uh, I can look, maybe I'm at this 1151 West 13th Street here. Now we can swipe to the right and I can just uh, double check either by the house icon and see that it's a red circle or... I can just look here where it says owner occupied next to parcel number and it says N, essentially indicating no, it's non owner occupied. So now before I'm approaching that door, I can go back to Fidelity Agent 1, generate one of these calculators, ask some leading questions and say, hey, I'm having an open house here this weekend, talk to them a little bit and say, by the way, do you own this property or do you rent it? They might say, oh, I, I rent this property. And from now you can say, oh, I actually have this really cool calculator that kind of shows you the benefits of buying a property. I don't know if you've been interested, but I can just send it to you really quick. That way you can look at it on your own time. Once again, I can hit the share button at the top right, text or email this to somebody, and now they have that information. So these two apps work really well together if you're just familiar with how they work. And then combining that with Fidelity Total Farms farming system makes it really effective for you to use in the future. So if you have any questions about how either of these work, or you want to sit down with me and do a one-on-one -on -one demo and get these set up for yourself, Feel free to contact me at 310-480-1085 and I look forward to helping you in the near future.